All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all the Akim pushing this truth in sincerity by Shem Rokak Wadash. Okay. And, um, you know, basically, uh, this morning I thought to, uh, you know, get up and do a lesson. You know, and, I was, and as I was meditating on the lesson, you know, one of the thoughts that came to my mind was, um, you know, how people really don't know, you know, the most high. Okay, neither do they know his son. You know, and, and, and that's a shame. That's a shame that uh you got so many opinions, you know, you got so many ideas in the world, and they're all wrong. And you know, here it is, you got men, okay, that are you know well versed in the scriptures, you and, and that are moved by the Holy Spirit telling you, okay, you know, the truth about the Bible, the truth about the most high. And his son Yahweh Shai and the prophecies that are written therein, and yet people still do not, you know, they don't, you know, they don't believe, you know. They're they're um they're in this plane of existence, you know. They they they're they've been taken by the uh by the philosophies of, of this world, okay, not not by um the Holy Spirit, okay, you know. Especially Israel, you know, the scriptures say, um, ye always do resist the Holy Spirit. That's in the book of Acts, the seventh chapter. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in the book of Acts today. Okay. A couple verses out of the book of Acts, you know, and, and you know, jump around, you know, Hebrew hopscotch. But um Lord willing, this will be edifying, you know. We'll be going precept on precept. But this is, a, let's start in the book of Acts 17. This is the book of Acts 17 and 30. Let's see. Okay, no, 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think... That the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. Okay, so we are the sons and the daughters of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, whom that world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay, but we are not to think of the Godhead, right? We're not, we're not to think of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Wah as gold, silver, or stone graven by art and man's device. And that's the thing. You know, nowadays you got a lot of people worshiping idols in different religions. Okay. And they think that, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the Bash and the Rakakwadash is what? You know, man's device. Now, when you go into this word device in Acts 17 and 29, it says this. Strong's G, 1761. And thumesis. And thumesis. A thinking, consideration, thoughts. So you're not supposed to be uh, taking heed into what man thinks or their consideration or their thoughts. You're supposed to be moved, you know, by the Holy Spirit. Okay, precept upon precept, line upon line. That's why, you know, you got pastors and you got people all over the world that, that uh, you know, they can't piece this book together. You know, they 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 think they can, but you know, they they you know they're, they can't get the deeper meanings, the mysteries, the secrets. So we're not supposed to think, okay, that you know this truth is, is has anything to do with idols or or man's device. Okay, it says, and the times of this ignorance, the most high winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Okay, so that was a time where, you know, the Lord winked at, at, you know, certain things. But but now the Lord's commanding all men to repent. Right now is the time more than ever that men are to repent. Okay, because, you know, the, the truth is out, you know, everywhere you go, this, the, you know, 
the Hebrew Israelite thing, if you will, is all over social media. It's everywhere. You know, it's it's um, you it can't be hidden no more. Okay. So right now is the time to repent. It says uh, thirty one because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained. Okay, so there's a, there's a there's an appointed day coming. Okay, not even not even the Son of the Most High knows what day uh, that he will come to execute the Most High's judgment. Okay, but he will judge the world in righteousness. Okay, and the and the Lord. All his judgments are done in righteousness, okay? And a judgment is what? It's basically a, 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 a sentence. See, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Shai, is judge, jury, and executioner. And that's a lot of that's something that a lot of people don't understand, you know. The world has to be judged for its iniquity, and I'm gonna get that. This is the word judge. Strong's G twenty nine nineteen Krino. Crino. Right. Uh, to determine, resolve, decree, to judge, to pronounce an opinion concerning right and wrong. So ultimately, it's going to be made known who was right and who was wrong. OK, whether the Israelites, whom the Bible obviously speaks about, you know, front and back or the Christians or the Mormons or the Catholics or or, you know, any other institution of of, uh, of thought, you know, or science or, or whatever the case Okay, to be of opinion, think, think to be of opinion, to pronounce an opinion concerning right and wrong. This is to be judged, summoned to trial that one's case may be examined and judgment passed upon it. Right. So right now, hey, the scriptures tell you that uh, under the sun was the place of of uh, judgment. Okay, so, you know, we're you, you actually have an open case upon you. Every single man, woman and child has a case. And the Lord's going to judge according to what you have done, whether good and evil. So those people who say that the Lord can't judge them for worshiping idols or for or for having their own opinion or for, you know, uh, following their heart, their mind and, and, and what they think is right. They're, they're sadly mistaken. It says running, running it back. Acts 17 and 31, because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised him from the dead. You see, and that's the thing. The Lord gave uh, uh, um, an assurance, okay? He was raised from the dead. If you know the scriptures, you know that we are uh, incorruptible spirits, okay? So the Lord's going to do a miracle for, for, for those that believe in him, you know, the, you know, the, the elect of Israel. The Lord, the Lord, uh, uh, basically said, you know, whether you live or whether you die, you live or you die to Yahweh Bashem Shai. So, you know, ultimately, there's a, there's a great reward coming to the to the elect, man. Okay. That was the that was the uh, 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 you know. That was the the great uh, how do you say, example, okay, that Yahweh Shai left, okay, that he actually you know rose from the dead now if you die in this truth and you're part of the elect you also are going to be raised up okay with the lord your works do follow you and a lot of people don't know these things man a lot of people um you know they think that um when someone dies that basically uh you know they're they're to mourn forever you know i'm not and i'm not saying that you know you don't mourn for the dead of course no doubt that's that's human nature right but at, but at the same time you know we've been given assurance Okay, that if we believe, we also will rise too from the dead. Okay, but yeah, the Lord, um, you know, he he winks. You know, one time he winked at the ignorance, man. That you know, that people think that this, that, and the other. But now we're coming to a point of time where you know the, the truth is out. Okay, and you know, you're gonna get judged. Every everyone's gonna get judged for what they did. You know, you got a lot of people coming on on this comment board. You know, saying that. The, you know, the Lord cares, you know, you know the Lord, the Lord's not going to, you know, that he don't judge and whatnot. And you're sadly mistaken. It's Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. 
and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. See? The Lord's going to punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Okay? And the Bible speak about, you know, what, what, you, what, what you, uh, you can and cannot do. There's laws, judgments, statutes, commandments with which the rulers of this world have twisted and told you that there's there's none. Okay? That you're under you're under grace and not under under any law. Which now which we know we can't establish the law, but there's still a law. See the mo see uh so like the the so called white man has a law. Okay, you break his law, what happens? There's a punishment. But the most high, he don't have a law that that that, that uh should be um observed. He does. That's why the, the that's why he will punish the world for the evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. The scriptures say many miseries shall happen because the people dwell in great pride upon the world. It's a lot of arrogant people. You know, they have their own opinion, okay, which ultimately they're set up to have, have their own opinion. They're, they're set up to be blind and follow the blind and fall into a ditch, but but there's a there's a remnant there's there's an election according to grace that is going to actually uh, 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 get to know the heavenly Father in these days, man. A lot of people don't know Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, okay? The God, you know, and the the Son of Israel, uh, Israel. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, they're still holding on to this white image of of, of God and Christ, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. You know these Edomites. You know they're 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 the terrible, okay, and and they're haughty. You know uh, they 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 think that you know they're not going to be visited for their iniquity. And a lot of our people follow that follow suit. You know they follow they follow the same thing. Well, let's go back to the Book of Acts. And... Let's get the Book of Acts, the fifth chapter. I wrote some scriptures down. And uh, 29, it says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. So, you know, we, we obey Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, rather than men, rather than the men of this world, okay, because the Lord did set up uh, Peter and the other disciples. Peter Peter was the, the, the head of the church, right? And and, and that's, that's scriptural to be uh, in a camp. The Lord was, was in a camp, so to speak. You know, we call it the camp, you know, but Israel is an army, okay? There's an army in the heavens, there's an army on the earth. We ought to obey the most high rather than men, see? And that's the thing. A lot of people obey man, and that's going to be a snare unto you. You know, you obey, uh, you know, first and foremost, people of other nations, you elect them in office, and, and, and you go by their decrees and their mandates, and, and, and you know, which, it's you know, it's not for you, it never was for you. Okay, you know, especially this uh, serpent's piss, they got everybody taking, you know, the people obey that. It says the the power, the God of our fathers, I'm going to just read it verbatim. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. And that's the thing. That's the thing too. Okay. The Bible says that the most high sent his son into the world. Okay. To basically... Uh, bring back the children of Israel who who could not keep could, who, who, the law, right? But through Yahweh Shai, we have we have we have a grace, okay, that a lot of people don't understand. But He was raised up, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. And a lot of people that are on the earth today, you know, are are actually those that said, "Let His blood be on our hands." So we know why you don't believe. We know why you don't know the Heavenly Father. Okay. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. See? Now, why would you not want to follow, okay, the, the God of Israel? It tells you. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Okay? So, so God exalted him. He raised him up with the right hand. Okay? But with his righteous power, he, you know, because you cannot kill the son of the most high. Okay. You know, 
That's what the scriptures say. Uh, whom, whom shall ye fear? Him that can be that is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. A lot of our people, they they they're the ones that that, that hanged them. Okay. A lot of our people are, are they don't they, they don't believe because why? Because this word has no part of it. You know, let's get that real quick. Okay, so you know when we teach this truth and we go principle on precept, you know, our, our, you know people want to interject and say this, that, and the third, but you know it has to be read with understanding. This is John eight and thirty seven. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. And this was in the red. So Yahweh Shai said this. Okay, to the Pharisees, okay, and even into uh, uh, Israelites who were saying, though, that, oh, uh, you know, Abraham's our, our, our father. They, they thought they were descendants of, you know, but but they they still, they sought to kill him because the word had no place in them, okay? So even unto this day, you, you have people that the, the word has no place in them. And there's there's people that are alive that they, 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 uh, they were there they were there they were the ones that said crucify him crucify him but you can't you can't you can't kill the son of the most high neither you're going to be able to kill his prophets and, and the believers or this word it says him hath god exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to israel and forgiveness of sins so there was there's some that are going to get repentance and forgiveness of sins not all Right, and, so, and we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Spirit, whom the Most High have given to them that obey him. Okay, and that's the thing you know, the Holy Spirit, which is what it, it, it is the, 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 the understanding, the, the, the word. Okay, you know, it's, it's the Most High's presence, you know, him supping with you, him, uh, uh, um, you know, a divine inspiration. You know, it's it, it's it's learning the secrets and the mystery. The Holy Spirit encapsulates, you know, quite a lot. Which the, the people, if they knew the Heavenly Father, they knew the Word, they would understand what we're saying. Okay, but a lot of people they don't understand because this Word has no place in them. This is Acts. Let's go into the Book of Acts. This is a Peter speaking again. Now, when they heard this, Acts two and thirty-seven. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brother, what shall we do? Okay. And even to this day, people hear the word and they, they, they get cut. They get pricked to their heart. Like, well, what, what are we going to do? What, what do we do? The, you know, that you men, you know, brothers, because, you know, they see people of their own nationality, right? Telling them these words, then, you know, it, it, they, it, it, it sticks with them. It cuts them. What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that's what you yes, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Because this word is for you, it's for you Israelites. The scriptures tell you, precept upon precept, line upon line, from front to back. The Lord only came, okay, for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? You cannot, you know become an Israelite just because you believe you know you have to actually be of the um, of, of the bloodline of the Israelites and even even Paul said that you know he was the Hebrew of the Hebrews you know the Lord had not uh, uh, done away with the Israelites it tells you that in the book in the in the book of Romans for the promise is unto you and to your children you see and a lot of people neglect this word Okay, a lot of people, uh, you know, they want to bring everybody in it. They want to distort it. They want to, you know, ultimately you have to be given the Holy Spirit from above. And we're, hey, we're just thankful that we're able to understand these words. Let's see. Thought I heard something. Let's get this real quick. We're going to go into the book of Acts, the seventh chapter. Seven and fifty-one. Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, 
ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. Right. Okay, some there's some vessels that, that, that are that are chosen to get the word and some that are not. Okay, and then in their and then in their reincarnations, you know, they, they you know they they still not gonna get it. Okay. So you have a remnant, a righteous seed, you have and then you have those who are gonna reject it, who 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 uh who resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. Right, and you are your fathers, man. But the elect is the, the beginning of, of, of their of their lineage. Okay? So if you were part of the elect, then you'd be the first of your of your family line. Okay. Okay, going back. Uh Acts 7 and 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one. Right. The prophets. Okay, we're slain by, by, by such people. Okay. Yahweh Shai was hanged by such Israelites. It says, which of the prophets have not your father persecuted? All the prophets were persecuted by wicked Jakes, and they have slain them which shewed before the coming of the just one. Right. The prophets were showing you, were teaching you of, of, of Yahweh Shai, which was to come. And what did you do? You, you you killed them, of whom ye have now been the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. Right? You received the law, okay, by the Lord's messengers, and, and, and you and you and you didn't keep it. Even to this day, people don't keep it. You know, here it is. You could be talking to a, you know, Jeremiah. Jeremiah could be, you know. You know, teaching you the word or whatnot on these videos, man. And and the people they they you know they refuse it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. You see, and that's what people do these days. They 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 gnash, you know. They scoff because ultimately, you know, this word has no part parts with them. Okay, now going back to Acts two, we're in the book of Acts today. Acts 2, was I? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, Acts 2. Let's, yeah, Acts 2 and 39. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord the Most High shall call. You see? So this promise is to you and your children. And to many as that are afar off, okay, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, they're going to receive this word in the last days. As many as the Lord shall call, this 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 word, these promises, these covenants that the Lord made with the Israelites, is for you. But what do the people do? You know, they 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 persecute the prophets. They hang Yahweh Shai. They know not of the Most High. They they think that. Uh, 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 this truth is 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 their philosophy. It's man's device. All these all these religions, hey, they're clearly uh, they're clever uh, cleverly devised fables. They're man's devices, man's thoughts, man's uh, 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 you know his interpretation, their private interpretations, uh, so on and so forth. Different doctrines and you know. For the promise is unto you and to your children and and to all that are afar off, even as many. As Yahweh Bashem Yahushai shall call, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Yeah, you got to save yourself from this untoward generation. You know, there's a lot of difficult people in the world. Let's get this word untoward. Acts 2 and 40. Strong's G, 4646, Scalias, Scalias. It says crooked, curved, pervert, metaphorically perverse, wicked, unfair, surly, forward. Right. I get a lot of crooked people. Let's get a simple definition for the word untoward not having inclin inclination 
to or for something, right? People are, they're not inclined to hear you. They're not inclined to uh, um, actually listen, you know, or godly. They're not even inclined to, to believe, you know, in the Heavenly Father or anything. Hey, you know, matter of fact, I was reading this, um, this article that was saying that uh, the church, church attendance is, is at an all-time low. A lot of people, don't, you know, they're ungodly. They don't, you know, people have forgotten the Lord days without end, especially you Jakes, because you other nations, you, you know, y'all are through. All these other nations have their own God. The white man, he, he painted God as white. So, hey, these people are untoward, untoward, crooked, surly, forward, unfair. Right. The Lord said he, he didn't stretch his arm out to a, to a, to a, um, to a gain. Let me get that, man. A gainsaying people. Uh huh. I like to look it up in the. I like to. That's funny. You'll Google a scripture and people are like, why, why are you in your phone for? Like, I'm just Googling the scripture. I'm coming out the scripture. Then they'd be like, oh, well, because they don't know the scripture. They'd be like, oh, well, no, just, just, just. Put the Bible down and just just tell me what you think, and that's that's not that's not that's not how we do things. So this is Romans ten and twenty one. But to Israel he saith, hey Salak, let me back in the phone. There you go, back in the phone again. This is Romans 10 and 20. But Esaias is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Here it is. The Lord is sending out prophets rising early. Okay, and telling you not to do the abominable thing. Don't, you know, don't do X, Y, and Z because there's a punishment, there's a judgment for it. But Israel, okay, and that's the Lord stretching out his hand, you know, letting you know. That's the, you know, the Lord sent his promise to give warning. What the scripture is saying is equal, give them warning from me. You know, the Lord is the Lord is coming. You know, him raising up uh prophets, him raising up men in these last days out on the highways and hedges. Um, is is a warning, you know. That's a sure sign that he's coming. But what what do people do? They don't obey. But to Israel, he says, "All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people." Let's look up this word gainsaying, because man, Jake is gainsaying, man. Eh? Strong's G four eighty three. Anti Lego. Anti Lego. To speak against, gainsay, contradict. Right. Our people are good at contradicting, man. Good at at at, at um, you know, going against the grain. You know, here we here it is, we're giving the Bible uh, uh uncut, raw, you know, and all the beautiful stories and, and the lessons and all the things that were um, you know, all the things that are written aforetime for our learning, for our knowledge, for our benefit. You know, they, they would they would make us successful. What do our people do? They shun it. They contradict it. Why? Because they have they have their own wicked imaginations. They go to establish their own righteousness. To oppose oneself to one, decline to obey, right? To oppose to oppose oneself to one. Right? They're opposing themselves. You're saying you're not Israelites. You're saying that you know this promise isn't to you and your children. It's to it's to the to them 1948ers. You know, it, you know we're we're the Gentiles. No, we are the Israelites. De okay. Declaring oneself against them, refuse to have anything to do with them. Right? People don't want nothing to do with you. They don't want nothing to do with the doctrine. That's okay, man. It's gonna be a, it's gonna it's gonna be on your head. This is Acts two and thirty. Let's see. Yep, 
You know, I'm going to continue. Acts 2 and 41. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Okay. And, and the true baptism is what? Is being immersed with the word. Okay. This word, it, it cleanses you. You know, the more you, the more you dwell in the word, the more it washes you, the more, um, you know, the more it, it, it would scripture say, how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed into the word? And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear come, came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. That's another thing. Spiritual power is coming back. Know ye not ye are gods? That's another thing. Here's we're going to get spiritual power. We're going to go, you know, we're gonna, our bodies are going to be changed. We're going to be put into an immortal godly state. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And all that believed were together and had all things common. So the, the believers are going to be what? They're going to be together. One accord, one mind. And they had all things common. So, you know, they were, they were, they were you know, they, they were, you know, into the same things. They were, you know, it wasn't any really, you know, nobody was adding extra, you know. And they, like these other camps, they're all extra. You know, there ain't no talk show hosts and, and, and no rap concerts and CDs and all. It wasn't like that. It says, and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Praising the Most High and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Right. So they were, they were, you know, they abided in the truth. They prayed for one another. They had fear. They saw the apostles, the signs, and the wonders. You know, even the apostles today, man, some of the some of the things they speak are are signs and wonders. Yeah, yeah. Some of the things they speak are 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 um are pro prophetic you know some of the things they speak to are, are are basically a um they reveal things the spirit will reveal reveal certain things to you okay right praising the most high having favor with all people and the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved okay so you know and the lord is adding daily okay if if we have not already been all um sealed okay <sighs> let's get this Let's go to the book of 2 Thessalonians 2. Let's wrap up real quick. 2 Thessalonians. Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, just wanted to do something, man. Basically, you know, our, our people, they don't know the Heavenly Father, man. You know, but this is for you. You Israelites. This gospel, this doctrine, you know, the way we're teaching it, you know, wearing garments, going out to the highways and hedges. Okay, observing the laws, judgments, statutes, and commandments, the high holy days. This is our heritage, man. All right. Let's see. Where was I? No. Well, first, uh, Second Thessalonians one. And seven, and to you who are, you know, let me start at six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. See? So, you know, ultimately these Edomites, you know, and two thirds of our people who, who, you know, don't want this truth to come out or who scoff and scorn and who basically try to stifle the word and, and try to give give hell to the to the disciples and to the to the believers. It's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, okay? The Lord's going to deal with them. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be real, revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Okay? So y'all that are troubled, you know, the believers, hey, rest rest with rest with the uh, the disciples. Rest with the believers, you know. The scriptures say we had all things common. You know, we were together. Okay? Uh, you know, and had all things, you know, breaking of bread from house to house and whatnot. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Right. Rest, rest among the body. Stick to this truth. 
in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So there's going to be a fiery vengeance. Okay? On them that know not Yahweh Bashim Yahashai and that obey not the gospel. Okay? You see? Let's go to uh, Romans. Then I'm going to end it out. Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay? Let's see. Well, Romans chapter 2. And we're going to start at um, 4. Okay? Or despise, despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth to repentance? And we got a lot of people to despise the goodness and forbearance, okay, even those that were once in the truth, that taught the truth, and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leadeth thee to repentance, right? The Lord chastises you, makes things known unto you, and when you have offended, overly offended, the Lord will reveal it to you, okay, and then what? So that you can repent, okay? It says, But after thy hardness and impenitent heart, right, the hardness and unrepentant heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day uh, of wrath against the day of wrath. Right. You just you're just, uh, uh, you know, those who are who are hard hearted and who are, um, you know, unrepentant, you know. Speaking to you, Jake's man, you're 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 basically storing up wrath. For the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High, who will render to every man according to his deeds. Now, it says, to them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory. Okay? To them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory, man. So you have to continue, you have to patiently continue to do well, man. You know? Seek for glory. The scriptures say um, that, that um, you know, he that humble himself shall be exalted and he that exalted himself shall, shall be abased. So be patient, man. The Lord will exalt you even, even unto the kingdom. And honor and immortality. You know what? Let me run that back. To them who by patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. That's what you're supposed to be patient for. Honor immortality eternal life but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth and obey the unrighteousness indignation and wrath okay so all those that, that, that who think they're getting over who think they're scoffing okay who think they're going to come up against the apostles and elders you know that are contentious and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness indignation and wrath tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the jew first and also of the gentile okay and, and you can you can actually um that could be d uh twofold okay to the jew first right because righteousness is of the jews and also the gentile meaning the israelites who are in a gentile state who never you know who didn't obey okay who didn't who didn't obey righteousness and who you know heard it but didn't you know it wasn't for them it wasn't their lot okay you know, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that do with evil of the Jew first and also the Gentile. So, you know, whether you're, you know, you're an Israelite and you didn't obey, you didn't do the right thing, or whether you're a, 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 an Israelite in the Gentile state, or, or whether you're a, of the heathen, the Gentiles, but glory and honor and peace to every man that worketh good to the Jew first and also to the Gentile, meaning, you know, glory and honor and peace okay to to the israelites okay and also to to you know those who are are are, are uh you know of the uh you know that are that are basically you know because we know a lot of people are going to come in in the last hour but they're going to receive the same penny it says jew first and also to the gentile okay those who are who are coming in the truth okay so they're, they're going to receive um, 
glory and honor and peace. For there is no respect of persons with the Most High. Okay? There's no respect of persons with the Most High. You know, the scriptures lay it out for you in spades, man. What You know, what to do to gain eternal life. That's, that's why the scriptures say, seek ye out of the book. Uh, uh, for in them, you know, you have eternal life, man. You have to read the scripture. This was the record that the Most High left of his son, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, and how that we would be able to receive uh, uh, um, salvation, okay? To the Jew first and also to the Gentile because, you know, you know, there, there's people that are, are um, you know, that one third. There's, there's people that are, are, are also, you know, that, that um, you know, the righteous shall bear, scarcely be saved. Okay, it's not talking about the Gentile heathens. It's talking about, you know, those who are who are, uh, um, you know, of a uh, of the lesser of faith. You know, even they're gonna make it. You know, the scriptures say that. Uh, you know the 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 harlots and the publicans make it before the hypocrites, man. All right, so you know the Lord have mercy on whom He have mercy upon, but you have to obey. Yahweh Bashimi Ashai, the gospel, this truth that is coming out in these last days. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay, this is just something you know that um, you know, the Spirit had me to speak upon. You know how how uh, it, you know it's a shame that a lot of people don't know. Yahweh Bashimi Ashai, the true God of Israel, in these last days, seeing all these prophecies coming to pass, you know they don't you know they don't take heed. Okay, so Lord willing, you know the the Lord continue to sup with us and and we continue to. Um, you know, to be able to teach this word, because you know it's all in the hands of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. We're just we're just servants, you know. So got to put our best foot forward and obey. Okay, I'm willing to edify again. I want to say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat Al Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat Al Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat Al Shai, Barakat the Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, Bashim Rokak Wadash, Barakat Thumb. You know, keep praying, keep doing the right thing. You know. The scriptures say in, in continuance, okay, you know, they, they, they seek eternal life, man, honor and um, immortality. You know, we just read the scripture. Lord, when it was edifying again, I want to say shalom.